Hi everyone, my name is Oya Fuchinde and this is my insight. Uh, so by occupation, I'm a registered nurse. I finished the Collabru program at uh, Seneca in York and I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Uh, I currently work in the emergency department, but I also have a small agency in home care, a small business. And this is what I'm going to be talking to you about today. <laughs> Absolutely. Business, if you're that person who wants to have independence, who wants to be in control of their own time, their future, their decisions, not having to answer to another boss, yes, then business is for you. These are actually some of the reasons why I went into business. I wanted to be independent. I didn't want to answer to another boss. I wanted to make my own decisions. I wanted to be in control of my own life and be in control of my time. I think that's the most important thing. And if you're also that person that wants to try new things, learn and just fail and try again, then business is for you. <laughs> Why did I go into it? So my dad suggested that I go into nursing and I did. And I'm glad that he did. I would be internally grateful because I went into nursing and sort of been immersed in this medicine field and healthcare. That propelled me to the idea that I have now, home care, and I love it. Before home care, I've tried so many things and they all failed. Um, some people laughed at me, but you know what? That did not discourage me. I'm still here today and trying out this new idea. And hopefully, eventually in the future, I'd have a business that runs on its own. That's the end goal. So if you're also one of those people <laughs> um, that wants something like this, then business is definitely for you. I would not discourage anyone from business, even if you don't have a business background, because I didn't. I've never taken a business course. I did not know the first thing about business. So when I actually first started, I had no idea. I was scared. I, what's that saying? Chicken in the headlines? I was absolutely lost. Yeah, but here I am now. <laughs> um, still lost, no, just a little bit. So number one is my dad. He's also self-employed. He's a Chinese medical practitioner and he works for himself. Uh, he's always inspired me. He's so independent, so smart and intelligent and determined. Whatever he puts his mind to, he accomplishes it. And I don't think a lot of people have that trait. So it's something that I've always looked up to, for sure. And he's always given me wise advice. He's actually one of the reasons why I am in home care. I'm always, you know, talking to him, asking for advice and yeah <laughs> he's really um, like my number one person and he supports me as well which is wonderful my other person is my sister she's so smart intelligent determined just fair such a hard worker i've always admired those qualities and i've always aspired to attain those qualities in myself <laughs> anyways those are the two core people that that i go to among others yes i do but if you don't have a mentor or you haven't found one yet, that should not discourage you. Start working on your own. If you don't even have a business idea yet, then brainstorm. Start there. Eventually, you will find a mentor. Everyone always does. Eventually, you will meet that person that you want to mentor you. And who knows? Eventually, you may be the person who's going to be mentoring other people. But anyway, so when I first started, as I told you, I was completely lost. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like I have to start somewhere. So I decided to just look at the people around me who do i know who surrounds me and lucky enough for me my parents had a friend who had experience running two businesses back in russia and it's pretty successful here as well so i reached out and he became my first mentor he helped bounce ideas with me he helped me sort of decide which direction i should be going into where to start he told me you know research is very important know what do you want from your business and sort of he propelled me in the right direction as long as you have a direction and an end goal and you know why you're doing this and what is the purpose and you know just the end goal in general then you have a direction and it doesn't matter if you go like this to reach your goal you're going to reach your goal eventually so i'm still zigzagging <laughs> towards my end goal the most important thing is is that i'm still moving forward so mentor is very important anything Personally, I wouldn't do anything differently. The life that I have lived and the experiences that I've experienced <laughs> have made me into the person I am today and have propelled me in the direction that I am in now. 
and I think it's the right direction. I love what I'm doing, so I wouldn't change anything at all. But if I didn't think that business is my end goal, then perhaps I would have applied to something differently entirely. Maybe I would have been an actress. <laughs> but yeah, so personally, I wouldn't do anything differently at all. But I've actually done a lot in high school and throughout college. So I volunteered a lot, sort of got involved in school activities, was very like on good terms with a lot of my teachers. So I think that is all very important and helps to shape who you are and helps you get out there and not be shy or scared. Last words or advice. What was the wisdom? Words of wisdom. If this is the only thing you remember from my talk, then I have done my job well. And the thing is this, there is no failure, there's only experience. Truly, there is no failure, only experience. From every failure, you learn something. Get up and try again. Absolutely, no failure. And find something that grounds you, that gives you peace of mind and mental health. Because I am Christian, I always refer back to, through Christ, I can do anything. He's the one who strengthens me. This helps to ground me. And in those moments, those dark moments, when things aren't going right, when things are not going the way you want them to, you need something to, to bring you up, to inspire you and like uplift you. So this may apply to you and this may not. But find something that, to you personally, helps to inspire you and uplift you and just get you through those hard, difficult moments. There is no failure, only experience. Thank you so much for your time. I hope I helped to maybe inspire some of you or help to guide you and like venture into the world on your own. But thank you so much, guys, and bye!